guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill, and for today's pop-off that obviously wasn't planned, we're gonna be talking about Selena Gomez because she decided to go off on a clapback spree yesterday, and I still don't know what to think. So for those of you who might have missed it, Selena Gomez decided that yesterday was going to be the day that she was going to go Instagram official with her rumored new man, Benny Blanco, and let's just say as soon as she did, all hell broke loose. Some fans, of course, obviously started criticizing her, then Selena went off on them like we've never seen her go off before. Four, and essentially it's just one big freaking mess. So we're not gonna waste any time because I know today is a Friday and I know y'all's time going into the weekend is absolutely precious. So let's go ahead and get straight to unwrapping these Selena Gomez facts. All right, y'all. So as I briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video yesterday, as I was trying to upload a pop-off about Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift, and I was trying to get out the door to make it to my hair appointment, which I was obviously late for, Selena Gomez decided, you know what? This is the perfect time. I'm gonna go ahead and go Instagram official with my new man. As you can see, Selena Gomez posted this photo to her Instagram story where she's clearly leaning on a man's shoulder. And although we can't see his face, the scruff definitely gave it away that she was confirming her relationship with Benny Blanco. Now, for those of you who might've missed it, there have been rumors that Selena and Benny have been dating for at least a couple weeks now. We've talked about it a little bit on some happy hour hangs. Mandy Teefy started following him. She was promoting his cookbook. So people were starting to think that Selena and Benny were dating, but but then she just went ahead and hit us with the confirmation. Now, obviously, as when Selena does anything, after she posted this photo of her and her new man over on her Instagram story, it started popping up everywhere on social media. And therefore, some people decided to start criticizing Selena Gomez for her relationship with Benny Blanco. And let me tell you, Selena Gomez was not about that criticism one bit. She went on an absolute clapback spree, you guys, that started off with her actually confirming on Pop Faction's Instagram post that she was dating Benny Blanco. She commented facts underneath their post about them dating. And then she just really went off from there. There was a ton of Instagram comments. If I read all of them, we would be sitting here all day. So I'm just gonna give you some of the highlights. In one clapback comment, I believe she said her and Benny have been dating for the past six months. She said that he is her absolute everything. She said that he's the best thing that's ever happened to her. She said that he's better than anyone she's ever been with. In another comment, she talked about how she's been in therapy for for so many years and how she knows what's best for her and how she'll never date another F boy again. In another comment, I also wanna point this one out because this has been circulating a lot on social media. She responded to somebody who called her out for her statements on what's happening in the Middle East. Selena's response to this comment got a ton of backlash. Lauren Haragi responded to it over on Twitter and Lauren Haragi also reportedly unfollowed her on Instagram after she saw this comment. It was just beyond you guys. I mean, she was just responding to anything and everything. Thing. Then in addition to her responding to all of those trolls and all of the backlash, you guys, Selena also posted a lot of interesting things on her Instagram story. She posted some throwbacks to Spring Breakers. She posted a shot of her and Ashley Benson from Spring Breakers. She posted some old clips from Wizards of Waverly Place where they were like applauding her for being funny. Also made sure to post a message about how much she loves and appreciates her fans, which I believe she posted in response to all of the comments she was saying over on Pop Fact. Instagram post. And then you guys, she ended her Instagram story posting spree with this photo, which clearly shows Selena Gomez wearing a B ring. We can assume for Benny Blanco. It's very, very interesting. I personally feel like I'm still getting my thoughts together on all of this, but let's go ahead and make this pop off official and get to the shambong because I feel like after this, all of us could really use one. <laughs> Okay, you guys, what in the actual you know what is going on? <laughs> that is truly, I feel like, the only way that I can really summarize my thoughts. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first saw all of those Instagram comments where Selena Gomez was clapping back, for a second I actually thought she was hacked because the verbiage of what she was using in those comments did not sound like Selena, in my opinion. Obviously, I've been covering Selena for several years at this point. I've been covering a lot, almost every one of Selena Gomez's clapbacks for several years. So normally when she claps back at something, she's sassy, she's direct, but the verbiage that she was using in the clapbacks yesterday almost felt like a little more aggressive and harsh than she would typically use. So that's why at first I thought she might be hacked, but then when I really took a step back and thought about it, I was like, you know what, maybe 
after years and years and years of people just criticizing your every move, at some point you're going to reach a breaking point, right? At some point you're going to say enough is a freaking enough. And I feel like Selena Gomez might have just hit that point yesterday and said, F it, I'm not going to stand for this anymore and I'm just going to let people have it. Which obviously she's entitled to having that moment. She's entitled to defending herself and the person she's in a relationship with. But in that same breath, I also have to ask the question. I'm not entirely sure what Selena Gomez expected. She's been doing this for a long time. She knows how the internet works and she knows that whenever she posts that she's dating somebody new, she's going to get her fair share of criticism. Now, I'm not saying that that's fair. You guys know I've talked a lot about how I think it's ridiculous that Selena Gomez does something and she just gets absolutely obliterated on social media. And when another celebrity does something similar, another female celebrity does something similar, she's praised for it. I do feel like people tend to unfairly criticize Selena Gomez compared to other celebrities. So of course there's obviously part of me that thinks she had to know this was going to happen. She had to know posting her man, especially a man who has publicly shaded her before she had to know that of course people were going to have some thoughts. Maybe she didn't expect people to have such negative thoughts. Maybe she didn't expect people to have such negative reactions. I don't know. And again, I'm not saying it's fair that people criticize her in that way. That's just unfortunately what we've seen. And you know what? It does make me a little bit sad because I'm sure when Selena did post that to her Instagram story, there was part of her that was hopeful that people would be happy for her. You know, I'm sure she has seen how people have just completely celebrated, myself included, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. We're all obsessed. We've all never been happier for Taylor. So I do think maybe on some level, Selena Gomez was hoping that she could have that same moment as well. But clearly that is not what happened in the freaking slightest. And she just went off about it in a way that we quite possibly have never seen. And I don't have a problem with a clapback and defending people who you love. You guys know I'm a Taurus. I talk all the time about how I am intensely loyal, almost fiercely loyal. If you mess with me or someone I love, like you will feel my wrath. So I understand why Selena Gomez reacted that way. But my only thing is, and I remember this advice, my friend Courtney, a long time ago, he told me when it comes to trolls, Madison, if you find yourself writing a paragraph in response to what that person said, it is not worth your time and your energy. And I think that Selena Gomez needs to hear this piece of advice as well. If you are finding yourself writing a paragraph in response to somebody who doesn't have a profile picture or someone who is criticizing you, you from behind a screen. If you find yourself writing a paragraph, it is not worth it. At the end of the day, trolls are trolling because they are having an issue in their own individual life. They're projecting whatever insecurity and issues they're going through on somebody else. They have nothing better to do. And I feel like if you are the happiest you've ever been, you shouldn't even be giving those people energy. And I know that that is so much easier said than done. It's obviously very easy for me to sit here and be like, oh, Selena girl, if you're so happy, you shouldn't even be entertaining these people. Obviously it's easier for me to say that. I'm not the one having to read that about myself. But at this point, unfortunately, I just feel like her clapping back in that nature is just giving people who don't like Selena Gomez more ammo as to why other people shouldn't like Selena Gomez. Again, it's absolutely not fair that it's like that. I just feel like that's how Selena Gomez's clapbacks are being received. And today, I feel like Selena Gomez needs to stay off her phone. I feel like Benny Blanco needs to stay off the phone. And I feel like everyone just needs to be present and no more responding to trolls. Now, as far as how I feel about the relationship confirmation that she is in fact dating Benny Blanco. I know a lot of us were concerned about her dating Benny. A lot of y'all did not think it was a good idea because of his previous comments praising Justin Bieber and shading Selena Gomez. But she responded to a comment that brought up the shade and she did not seem concerned about Benny's previous comments. And again, she said multiple times how happy she is. This is the happiest she's ever been. He's the best thing that's ever happened to her. So I feel like if Selena Gomez is saying, this is my man, who are we to say anything different? If she doesn't care about any of Benny's previous comments, who are we to care? If she feels like he is exactly what she needs, then I feel like we just need to take a step back and be happy for her. Now, as far as the ring situation and her wearing that B ring, I don't love the finger that she was wearing it on. I'll be completely honest with you guys. But I will say Selena Gomez has a habit of doing this in relationships. She wore a J ring when she was with Justin. So wearing a B ring when she's with Benny doesn't seem too out of bounds. And I feel like 
like wearing a ring with your significant other's initial is a lot more safe than, I don't know, getting a tattoo like Pete Davidson. So I feel like in the grand scheme of things, if we want to go off about the ring, I don't really feel like we need to because again, it's nothing permanent. It's just a piece of jewelry. And until we need to freak out about a piece of jewelry, I don't think we should panic. Ultimately, you guys, I just hope that Selena is healthy and happy in all senses, mentally, physically, emotionally. We also know she wrote in another comment that she does have new music coming, which I think will be good for her. I think that will be something that she can focus on. And I think it will be something that won't have her, you know, looking at the Instagram comments all the time. So at the end of the day, I just feel like as long as she's happy and healthy, that should be a good thing. But obviously, whenever anything else happens, I'll be sitting right here to fill you guys in. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you on the latest when it comes to Selena Gomez. I want to hear all your thoughts and feels down below. Please remember to keep things respectful, you guys. Even if we disagree, that's totally okay. But let's just remember to keep things respectful down there in the comments. That's how we like to roll here in the House of Hill. While you guys are at it, also give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back here to check out my other videos and my YouTube shorts. You guys know if you want to show me a little extra love or you just want to make sure I see your comment. Don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. You guys also don't forget to tune into Monday's live happy hour hang at 3 30 Pacific Standard Time. You can also check out all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully nothing happens until Monday. Fingers crossed you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!